there we go. Multiplying this out, so x raised to the negative third, y raised to the negative two times negative three. Doing our property of exponents here. And all this over x raised to the second times negative three, y raised to the third times negative three, z raised to the negative fourth times negative three. Let's multiplying these out, so we get x raised to the negative third, y raised to the sixth, z raised to the ninth over x raised to the negative 6, y raised to the negative 9, z raised to the negative 12. So flipping these so we get positive exponents, I get x to the 6th, y to the 6th, z to the 9th, times x to the 6th, y raised to the negative 9, z raised to the negative 12, or to the 12, actually that's a negative 9. I won't be positive, 0 to 12. And then finally, all this over. Yeah, I get that x to the sixth. That should be, should be there. So it should just be x cubed here. So this cancels out. So finally, what we're left with is, gosh, I'm getting this all, all right, hold on, I'm sorry. Simply, this this becomes negative three. So we're left with y to the x to the third, y raised to the fifteenth, z raised to the twenty-one. Okay, that's it.